Alright guys, so today it's Thrilling Thursday. Um, so right now what we're doing is we're going to be thrillingly making yeah. some... Making some freaking... Some grilled cheeses! <laughs> okay guys, it's Thrilling Thursday. Thrilling Thursday, you and heard him. looking for the spam! You better have spam. Because ain't nothing thrilling or than the spam! Yeah. I hope we have. Do we have spam? Man, you always say these things without knowing. Yeah, dude. I swear we have spam. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Okay, here it is. Alright, we found the spam. That was almost thrilling if we didn't have any spam. Oh, look at that yummy spam. spam. What? 15% less sodium. 25% less sodium. sodium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always be ruining these perfectly good spams right, with less see. sodium. Um, oh, geez. Well, it was on here. There was a recipe on here. This Caleb is the said less sodium. Caleb said apparently uh, it was on the there was a recipe. Yeah, grilled cheese and spam. Let me That's here. Hold this. Hold this. Apparently there Nobody. is a recipe. You gotta talk Caleb. loud because the fans. Go. Apparently there's a recipe in Caleb's words of that, yeah, but it, it says. Well, this is the low fat version. It says That's eggs. why. This is the low fat version. That's why. But we can just make it here. Let's make it. Oh, so, so you can't get food poisoning from this? No, no, no. It says fully cooked. Already. See, fully cooked. Alrighty. Alright, Thrilling Thursdays. I'm gonna get a shot of me opening the spam. Oh, you heard that crack? Oh, yeah. I love spam, actually. Thrilling Thursdays. Cooking edition. I like Cooking spam edition. when you don't get... It's, it's important, guys, especially on a Thrilling Thursday. To keep your area clean. <laughs> yeah, this is the spam, guys. All right, guys, we're looking. We're looking for the spray. So Preemptively, we have a plate. Preemptively, we have a plate for when the spam gets done cooking. We can put it to the side, and then we can just chop it up and then make the grilled cheese. Oh, I still have spam. A lot of people say it smells like tuna. Too bad. But trust me, it's not. It tastes oh, way better than tuna. No offense. All right, so what we're going to want to do here, and trust me on this one, you just have to We do have spray crack. Huh? We do have spray crack. Yeah, you yeah. All right. Where's the spray, man? I am. Where's the spray? I'm looking. I'm looking. Where the freak is that spray? Alright, I got bad now for this. I'm too, I'm too tall for this. Oh, Where's the spray? I already looked there. Where's the spray? Shoot. We don't have spray. We don't have any freaking spray? No, we just use butter like old fashioned. It's probably healthier that way, too. Alright, we don't have spray, so we're going to use butter. Like, no. Like the olden days, people. What? No. We're going to use margarine. I can't believe it's not butter. Sorry, margarine. Whatever. It's going to cause, like, me to have... Okay, so what we do here, guys, and this is how, here, here, bring it over here. Yeah. All right, can so, do we, can try? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to unplug this thing. All right, y'all. Yeah. Here, can you get that plate ready? All right, bring in you with wait, the tripod. Wait, wait, maybe you can reach it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, there you go, right there, the pan's right there. That's great, this is a great angle. Yeah, that's good. Is it though? Cause I think it dimmed out the pan. Do we really even need to use this light setting? I mean, let's be honest. We probably don't even need to use the light. Yeah, let me try doing that. I don't know, man. I think we should just. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. Um. So just pop it in there, or do we got like? Um. Uh, wait. No. 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 No, you put that on a plate first. You do? Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Guys. Oh you wanna cook the yeah. you wanna cook the grilled cheese first? I'll show you how to make it. Alright right, guys. I'm gonna put it on the plate. Alright. Yeah. Alright. So we're just gonna Alright guys, this is how you make Caleb's specialty grilled cheese. So you wanna take a big big plop of butter. Yo, yeah, okay, this ain't coming out. And you plop it on there. Okay, this ain't coming out. Yeah, you have to sort of like, you have to get in there with like a spoon. Okay. Right? Oh. oh my god. It's fine. 
bro. You see this guy, bro? A big he put like this much of butter, bro. That's it. That's you gotta make it like you know good to go. All right, getting hot now. Now we're just gonna spread the butter all over the place. Bro, honestly, bro, it looks like it's just all coming out. Are you sure it's supposed I'm to sure, break? I'm sure, I'm sure. Yes. Do I just cut off a piece then? You cut it into slices. Really? Yeah. So I should take the whole thing out? Yes. Yeah. Cut it into slices. Not, not too thin, though, slices. Okay. I'll make thick slices then. I need butter. I meant a friggin'. Oh. Alright guys, we got a whole bunch of butter on there. Who okay, can't believe it's not butter? You cannot believe it. Unplug that. Can you unplug that? I'm gonna show them. Please All don't right, ban us, YouTube. I'm gonna cut this with a knife. There's the butter. There you go. Is that thick enough pieces? Too thick. I think it's just the amount of yeah, thickness. Alright guys, and then, here, 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 let me show them. And then, here's my secret little sauce to the recipe, so to say. It's what I like to do, is I add this cannoli seasoning, okay? And you just want to add some to it, right there. Add a whole bunch to it. Bro, I honestly feel like Mom's gonna get mad at us for wasting all this spam. You sure it's it's just wasting supposed to, the spam? It's just all supposed to come out. Yes, it's in chunks. Yeah, I just. What is that in there, bro? Yeah, you're right though. All right, guys. Now remember to put. I have a whole bunch of cheese. Where'd it go? It's right there. All right. Put that in. Keep right. that in, Caleb. Hey. I think these are. These are all right. This one's a little thick. Oh shoot, we're out of bread. We're gonna have to use something else besides bread. Dude. <laughs> I got him, guys. He he got me. If you would have saw my face, he actually got me. I was about to say, bro, I just cut off all this man for nothing, dude. Alright guys, so we take our bread here. Oh, did you show it melted though? A lot of people like when it's melted. Okay. It's nice and melted. Alright guys, so now what you're gonna wanna do. Is you're gonna wanna take your bread. Remember, it's two slices, two sandwich. So is this just, here? Yeah. Oh. So you plop it on there like that. All right. Now get your spam. Get a piece of spam. Uh, you don't cut it up in pieces. I thought you cut it up in pieces. No, but don't do that yet. Don't. What? Don't put the spam on yet. Though. Okay. So we're gonna. It's important to keep a spatula handy. So. Once, That's a ton of butter, though. Yeah. Once these get cooking. Once these get cooking, <laughs> there ain't no stopping the cooking. There ain't no stopping the cooking. Here, point that up a little bit. Alright, guys, so we just gotta wait for them to burn on this side, and then you flip them, and then you put the, then you put the spam in, and then you put the cheese in, spam and cheese in. Bro, literally, I bet they're already burned too, Chris. I want to cut that up. Oh, oh in, the, in, the, in the forest now. Why well, just use the knife? And remember, Caleb's secret sauce is this cannoli seasoning, guys. Cannoli? Cannoli seasoning. I did not agree to this. Yes, cannoli. T Tony's. Tony. Tony Ch Chester's famous cannoli. Famous. Cornola Carazine More Spice Cornola Seasoning. You better hope no seasoning. Italians watch our stuff. Uh, bro, you literally said it in an Italian accent. Bro. I'm just trying to read it how it's supposed to be read. How it's supposed to be read. This guy's racist. Cancel him. Now, here's the real question. Do we want bacon bits in our grilled cheese? No. no you're right. You're right. Yeah. Spam's already enough. I Spam is like off-brand bacon if you think about it. I honestly. am gonna feed our dogs some bacon bits, guys. Is this caviar? We don't have caviar. No, dill, dill meat. Dude, it's like 
Caviar is like a hundred dollars an this? ounce. What are you talking about? Oh, you can't say that. Cancelled. Cancelled. It looks suspect. Uh, here's some five hour energy. Maybe we add that in there? No. Yeah, I think so. Our, our little hearts would explode. And remember, guys, it's important. Oh, Cardi, you're supposed to be watching this. They're probably burnt to a crisp. Oh, God, I was cutting, dude. Oh, no, they're not even. Oh, yeah, they're not We're even. We're just starting, starting to get to it, though. Because he added so much butter, the heat isn't transferring as fast. Right, and here's our cheese grater, guys. So remember, what you do with this cheese grater is you do add, you could add some grated cheese in there if you want it. By the way, if anyone's seen our previous Throwing Thursdays, our house didn't really burn down. That's how we're cooking right now. So we ha we make sure to have the ventilation fan on. Yeah. First of all, so it doesn't give off smoke, and second of all, so our smoke detectors don't go off. And you do kind of want to grate this cheese over there. All right, they're a little big. The pieces are a tiny bit big, but I think that's okay. You know, I cut them enough. So put our knife away. Always remember to put your knife in the sink. Uh, I don't know. That's in my hand. A little bit of bread and cheese. Why did you bring it? It's a, just a little bit of bread and cheese. Look what you did with the other mm -hmm. pack of the cheese, though. I'm not still not cooking. I'm just about almost. It's stinky. Not when it gets. That's how much water. <laughs> it's okay, guys. What did you do? <laughs> you said cut it. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. You just you better eat all of I don't know. What do you mean what I do? You said I didn't know I closed. They're a little thick, huh? No, you're good. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> no. This is yours, dude. Do you know how soggy it is? No offense. Once it gets cooked. You know, once it gets cooked. Alright, he's currently finishing up his, emphasis on his grilled cheese. Um, okay, that's good. Alright, alright, well, we need another plate, we need another plate. Alright, get the spam ready, get the spam ready. Get the spam, no, 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 get the spam, what are you doing? I need, we need another plate for the actual, like, presentation. Oh yeah, get the spam, get the spam. Should put it on there? Yeah, because we take, take something like that. Yeah. You didn't, wait, you didn't even put the cheese on there. I know, it goes spam, then cheese, guys. There goes cheese. That <laughs> poor slice of cheese. Alright, show them that before I close it up. Okay, this is beautiful, by the way, guys. Remember to stay tuned for my cooking, too, because I'm going to cook one, too. I know, guys, it ooh, looks beautiful. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot, guys. Well, it's hot, man. He's now pressing it down to compress, compress it. Down. You compress it like that. Compress there and all that stuff. <laughs> this guy, did. You want to make sure they have a constant flip. What is that? I think it's burnt butter. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> sure, guys. This well, is why you don't stuff. add half a stick of butter. To your right, grilled right. cheese put recipe. Back, put it back where it was. Right? <laughs> you always want to. You want to make sure that you're stirring it around properly. Honestly, not too bad, for real. You want to make sure that you get this. Stuff that's a literally in. butter. Make sure it's melted. Guys. Uh oh, the spam has gone off the, the rails. The spams, yeah. So you can really just eat this raw. You don't even really need to cook it. Technically, no. Okay, I just got news that you could technically eat Spam raw because it's pre-cooked, just like hot dogs, I guess. You always want to have that constant flipping motion on it. So one side doesn't get burnt, so they're equally as burnt. Take a couple more flips here, guys. And that's about it. All right, all right, over the plate. How was the ice maker? Oh, okay, that scared the freak out of me. All right. Okay, the that's, that's the first one, I guess. Do you want to take turns? I'll, I'll cook mine now. Don't okay. Make, uh, Okay. Oh. So 
sending you guys back. Pieces of bread, right now. Okay. Alright, now Carter's cooking his his way. The spam is, so I can't get rid of the spam. Alright, make sure you uh Uber along. Oh my god, can you get rid of that spam bro? What? Why? It's fine. It's a runaway spam. Try it. Okay, I'm just gonna taste test some spam right off the grill. Not too bad. Not too bad, so we got a burnt taste to it. Alright guys, I'm not a dog abuser. Alright, so that's a demon inside of my dog, I think. So that's really thrilling. <laughs> Can you please count um, future Caleb how many times Caleb has been scared by like doors and dogs in the series? <laughs> that could be I remember really last time thrilling. he got scared, uh, he got mad at a door, and this time he got mad at a door. Right, I'm gonna try mine, okay? Mmm, mm. boy. Does it actually taste good though? Mmm! Oh. <laughs> That's the best food I ever had. My, I blew myself away. It was myself. I went up in flames. That's the best thing I've ever had in my life. Oh, perfectly good. Yeah. Now remember, guys, don't eat raw spam. What? Eating is good. It better be. Okay. It says ready to eat cold or. Correct. See, I thought we had some guacamole, guys. Yo, guacamole, guac, guac, you know what I mean? I but I was wrong. Get a shot of this, kid. It's avocado salad. Get a shot of this, kid. All right, all right, let me just run that. Free shabaka do is what it was. No, <laughs> What are you doing? Burn myself. Oh my goodness, guys, that's thrilling. <laughs> now the spam. The spam's everywhere. Oh my god, it's all going up in flames. Alright, guys, I think I got a shot of that. Alright, put your cheese on. Oh, 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 Holy goodness, oh. put your cheese on. Holy shoot. Guys, the camera almost just fell into the fire. That would have been bad. But it would have been cool for you guys, I guess. I haven't opened one of these in so go, long. Go, 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 go. How do you open these? <laughs> my goodness. No, give me, give me. Bro, I don't know how to freaking open these, dude. Here, hold this, hold this. Oh my god. Hold it's all going downhill from here, guys. No, guys, it's Carter's Dude, this thing is so burnt, dude. Flip it over. It's dude. smoking. Flip it over. I can't flip it over with the with the spam on there. Right. Oh, just put it on. There you go, there we go. Put that on there. Here, hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. Oh my god. Good, good, good. Perfect. Now we're gonna compression it. You have cold compressions and stuff? Can you die of like char poisoning? No, you'll be fine. I don't believe that. You can't die of char poisoning. Carter, that's not char enough. Right, put it on the plate, for gonna say, dude. Let's go, let's go. I'm eating that too. Of course I made it. Put it on the plate. Just put it on. Put it on the plate. There you go. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, show this. Show this. It smells. It mm. smells like a regular mm. cheese. Mm. But I'm sure it tastes a lot better. Mm. All right, I'll move my ears. Okay. Grilled cheese o'clock. I'll start with the second one. In fact, I heard. You sure you can't die? You can't die of char poisoning. Okay. That would not be enough, even if you could. Huh. What are you doing? Are you doing something weird, like milk and Doritos and stuff like that? Something like that? By the way, I heard personally. Oh I heard personally from Ricky Berwick. No offense. Um, by the way, hello, Ricky Berwick. He's watching this. If you're watching I will give this, you $100. please give me a shout out. You're way more famous than me. Who um, is he he's like um, is he a really cool dude. He's crippled. Don't put that in the video. 
He's actually fine with it. He makes fun of it all the time. Oh, he's that guy who, like, calls around his name. Yeah. Um, I heard from him that grilled cheeses go really good with ketchup. Maybe he was, like, right. You heard from him personally? Oh, my God. He was not lying, guys. Oh my gosh, dude, he was not lying. Is it good? It's good. You taste that cannoli seasoning? Is there sort of like a spice? I'm really gonna be honest. It just tastes like char. But it's really good. Because you're I'm just joking. Do you taste the canola cheese? Mm-hmm. Alright, y'all. Alright, here, I got my stuff. Honestly, bro, I would 100% recommend this. Alright, your next one, your next one, go. Go, 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 go. Or do you want me to make your next one? I'm alright. Alright, go, go, go. Isn't this, like, really hot by now? And I, yes, extremely. So you, you should only need, like, Two seconds on each slice. A little more than that, we know. Oh yeah, so so far this is going really good. It's kinda thrilling. You know what I know? It's like kinda thrill. What the guys, that was thrilling, dude. That was a thrilling time. The funniest part is he stomped with his foot, but he actually scared me. Oh. Oh, I thought it reached time limit. <laughs> Imagine no. it reached time limit like five minutes into the <laughs> recording. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, he got scared by that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, guys. I mean, this stuff is really good. I suggest you make it exactly like you. It's a little bit of a cleanup at the end, but I'm used to it. All I got to do today is um a little bit of laundry. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to go watch I'm our time lapse video that we did. Is it really good with ketchup? A actually? day ago, it is actually really good. Ricky Berwick was right. And he's Canadian too. I thought he like poured syrup on it. Carter. Now Canadians are really open. <laughs> I'm sorry, Burwick, if you're actually watching this, although we're not famous at all. Is that too bad? Alright, I got both the sides perfectly grilled. Now I actually need to do this correct. Okay, first of all, get some uh, little, little pieces of spam on here. A little pieces of spam on here. Mm. Oh, it's pretty good, guys. So remember, you always wanted to you always want to stay hydrated. So I suggest hybrid? Hydrated. So I suggest water. How do you frickin' open one of these frickin' things? Literally shown. Literally shown. Look guys, I'm showing Carter how to open it. Oh my god. We were gonna do white American, but we thought that's a little thing. risky, a little racist. So. I might actually make a cut I'm not, guys. Whatever you see here, this is raw. This is the good stuff. This is raw, dude. This I is never raw cut WWE. Mm. The phone's going off. Yeah, it's free, problem, guys. It's free. Oh, you got Dr. Paul on here. Hi, hello. Uh, uh, I need, I need a plate, another plate. Hello? Yes, hello? My brother's calling my mom right now. I, I gotta be quiet, but I just made my second one. Uh, it's, I kind of took it off a little bit too fast after I added the cheese, but it still tastes perfect. So, like I said, guys, because um, I'm gonna do an outro right now by myself, um, I would 100% recommend this. And there's no risk, too, I think, because you can eat, because you can eat spam cold or hot so you don't have to worry about undercooking it I'd hope so maybe that's my famous last words but I'm literally drooling right now 
I'm finishing off the rest of these two grilled cheeses. What are you doing, man? Love you guys. Goodbye. Would recommend 10 out of 10. Make sure to have ketchup with it. See ya. He left the burger. Look how much char my brother had to scrape off of his sandwich. Don't record this, man. Dude. Dude. That's thrilling, dude. Alright, guys. Look at all this mess. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like we said, ah, it's gonna come up a little excuse bit of mess, me. but it's all worth it. But it's it. pretty good. You can see I, do, I got the meat burps now, which is thrilling in a sense. So, and later today in the in the video, we are gonna be calling in some mystical beast. Um, because I got all kinds of different calls, so oh, we're gonna do some mystical yeah, what are you doing? mystical beast things. I think she just did actually. All right, guys. See you then. All right, guys. So this is the second part of Thrilling Thursdays. Uh, here's my brother. He's the cameraman. So here you go. All right, cameraman Carter behind the camera. We're currently in our beautiful gazebo, as you can see. Um, we found it fitting to start out in the gazebo for this Thrilling Thursday. So take it on here, Caleb. All right, guys. So what we have here is we got two monster calls, basically. We're calling them mystical beasts, basically, if you think about it that way. Not sponsored by any of these two brands, by the way. Just, yeah. just in case we didn't make so that. So here, clear. right here, what we got is we got the Intimidator Ninja Deer Call. So not sponsored. Yeah, that's right here. It's a call. We have the regular average duck call here. And so what we could do, what we're gonna do, and what could happen here is let, let's get over here where we're gonna do it. Uh, so what what we're planning on doing here? All right, guys. So basically, what we could do here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these two calls uh, over in the woods area. And uh, we're going to basically, we're going to call in mystical beasts. Now, I know a lot of, a lot of beasts, a lot of monsters, they sound like, sound like deer and ducks. So as you can see over here. Here's this area we're working with here. Sort of would be in the world. So the first thing I'm going to do is what they call a little bug call. He just broke the entire gadget. That's why I put bugs around, dude. Alright, it stopped. Okay. 
Nah, I'm just doing. Ah! <laughs> thrilling, thrilling plank right there. Thrilling plank right there. Yo, for real though, I'm kind of in sandals right now, so I'm not fine actually. So, so. Yeah, we got some sign here. What the freak is that? Get that, guys. I see. That's freaky, man. Okay, I wish this was actually planned. It wasn't planned, guys. This is legit. Was Didn't we say there was a, the, uh, like a farm back here, like bell pepper seeds, like there, there probably is a farm here. No, yellow, what is Yellow that? bar pepper, yellow bell pepper. No, dude, that we would have seen that, that's recent, guys. Look, that's on permanent marker, you can still see where it's almost a little wet. Permanent marker, Caleb, what do you call permanent? No offense, oh, it did stop, oh, never mind. No offense, y'all, but I think this is yellow bell peppers. No, why would so we're gonna have to call this a debunked ghost adventure stuff. I don't know style. if it was really debunked though. I'll have to, I'll have to hold on to that. Maybe I can find some ectoplasm. So, but we are finding signs of mysterious things. So what I like to look for here, guys, is actually a lot of people think this is poison ivy. It's not. Actually. It's all poison ivy. That's why I don't want to be out here in. No. It's actually a root. Sandals. I'm not stepping any further. As you can see, it doesn't look like there's much sign of anything, really. Other than that paranormal yellow sticker we found. Could be sort of like a, you know, a spiritual thing trying to tell us something yellow. I don't know what that could mean. Afraid. Yellow means afraid. That could be a possibility here. But other than that, I'm not finding much here. I am finding these, these holes here. Teddy. My dog Teddy. He's barking at what looks like some sort of mystical white creatures. That could be a unicorn, maybe. Can you guys see that? Carter, come look at this. There's some sort of white creature over there. All right, I cannot debunk that, so I'm not sure if that's just something over there. If that's a creature, I don't know. Could be mystical though. But I am finding these holes here. And what these could be, this could, these could be one of two things. These could either be moles, right? Or these could be fairy holes. So there could be fairies back here. I don't know. Tiny little mystical creatures. I think I see what they call a in the woods. mystical white ball on the ground. That's your golf ball, dude. Right here. You play like a part here. Yeah. You didn't touch any poison ivy, did you? No, I didn't. There was like something over there. Alright, guys. So now I'm going to try to duck call. Maybe this mystical creature identifies with the duck language. He's trying a duck call if you couldn't hear him. <laughs> Alright okay. guys, so we just hit the duck call. So it's possible that there are... That's kind of weird out there. Shh, did you hear that guys? Is that 
Oh, some sound, sound like metallic. Some metallic. I think it's a metallic thing. So, so far... That was kind of weird. You hear that? Kind of weird. Think, oh. There's something above us. Okay, stuff is starting to sort of definitely act up here. So... I'm thinking we hit, I think we hit the Bigfoot. Bigfoot knocks, I think that's what we're gonna do now, guys. All right, we're gonna hit the Bigfoot knocks, guys. We're gonna come out here later tonight when the strawberry moon is out, but that might be in, like, in another video. Let's hope that it wasn't the gate falling inside. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, that was kind of weird, Yeah. Well, no, I don't know. I didn't check. I just let him in. Oh, Dad. Hey, Dad. Okay, so we're going to hit the Bigfoot knock. Hitting the Bigfoot knock. Alright guys, we were just starting to get some heavy activity there and we had to take an intermission. So we're back at it. We're going to do a couple more tree knocks, some more investigating, <laughs> and uh, yeah, because stuff was acting up there. Bah! 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 Right. Anyways, back to Kim. That sounds disgusting. We're really getting stuff stirred up now. I'm gonna try to do some Bigfoot yaps. Yeah, so. Can't get some stuff stirred up now, guys. Okay, guys. What the fudge what was... What the heck was that? Now, seriously, what the freak was that? That, I, that could have been tree knock. Hold, that was a freaking big one. Oh, my gosh, guys. Now, if you think that's a... Okay, do it. Come on, start tree knocking, dude. What the freak was that? That was a big sound. To me, it sounded like... I mean, we're on the country. But would a gunshot be that quiet though? That wasn't a gun. That was like someone banged on the Yeah, it sounded like an echo too, yeah. Guys, we just got tangible evidence. That was tangible Bigfoot. I saw I heard a grunt, like a, a growl just now too, like a, a yell. Yeah, over there. Oh we might need to review that because we were talking, but I swear I heard something. Yeah, we gotta review that, guys. I'm gonna attempt to keep making it. I'm gonna, see, this is what we want. We want things stirred up. We want reactions. Oh my god. That's like nothing I've ever heard before. That's a big button on it. 
Keep knocking. Here, throw this and then knock. You heard that? I'm hearing something walk. Like twigs breaking. Here's the thing, here's what I've heard too. If you knock like on the rocks too, that, that's another form of communication. Those were definitely tree knocks. Those are tree knocks. I mean, I've never not believed in Bigfoot, but I've never actually heard like something so clear before. Dude, that was clear. I, what was it? Was over in that area? Yeah, it was sounded over in that area, honestly. See, that's a sound like that, but like it echoed through. Where did you learn this? I'm the producer. This was on Mount Long. Oh, was it? Yeah. They used a bone in mirror afterbirth. Uh-huh. Uh, I thought what we could use is a uh, shot here. So you guys kind of want to make sure that we clear all this out. I'm going to make a big clear circle here. So anything that really get in here. Oh, I see. And then it will make a print. Yeah. Because it's a loose out. dirt. <coughs> That's a pretty big circle right here. Alright, so what we're going to use, guys, is we're going to use, because we're trying to get a big foot, uh -huh. we're going to use some bacon bits. Little bacon pieces. Okay. And an orange. Because actually, little known fact, Bigfoot's love bacon. And probably a million ants. We'll see how many. <laughs> you want to take the juices from the orange here. Is there a Bigfoot in Florida? Yeah, there's Bigfoot in Florida. I want to sort of just sprinkle it around here. So it just smells that sweetness that wants to come in. Wow, I can smell it now. Yeah. Wow, I can smell that. So definitely animals do Yeah, the that. wind took it. So we're going to make one right there. We're going to make another one over here. Here's a lot of loose dirt right here. So I don't even have to do much. I'll loose dirt there. Make sure there's no poison ivy in that area. Want this 
really start to get Let's see if it uh, gets a wild boar that's out here. We do have a lot of. Well, yeah, we got a quite a big. A little bit of a hidden gem. I mean, I definitely think there's deer out here for sure. Or actually, you stay right there. there, there. Just to make sure we get good footprints here, guys. We're going to take some water. Oh, you? I see. Okay. Makes sense. He's going to wet the ground a little bit. Especially over here. Definitely can get some good footprints here now. Yeah. So remember, guys, this was the technique called burying the bone for mountain monsters. If you haven't seen it, it's a really good shot. Huh. Alright, guys, so that's going to be it for today's vlog. Um, if you want to see what happens with the uh, burying the bone method and the strawberry moon, I am going to post some stuff on TikTok, I think. So if you want to see that kind of stuff, go over to my TikTok app the Caleb page, Caleb channel page, um, yeah, go over there and check it out, but yeah, that's it for today, thanks for watching.